What's up party people? This is Vernon Mashwell and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use mixed in key. Um, now for starters, what you'll want to do is go to mixedinkey.com and grab a copy of this. The full version is 58 bucks and you can use it on either a Mac or um, a Windows PC either platform of your choice. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to use mixed in key on the Macintosh MacBook uh, mix uh, with a combination of uh, Serato Itch 2.0. So once you go and you download that, next thing you're going to want to do is um, bring it up. Just open it, download it to your machine and bring it up. You're going to see this window right here. And then the next thing I want you to do is uh, you're gonna go here and you're gonna drag you're gonna drag and drop your song so let's say you have your songs in a folder on your computer I don't know where exactly you store yours but I'm just gonna drag and drop this folder and what it's gonna do it's gonna scan um, all of these songs here and it's gonna as you can see it's already analyzed them and it's gonna give them a specific uh, key uh, a notation. So I'm going to go ahead and analyze these. As you can see, each key has been marked and it's going to save this to the ID 3 tag of your song. So what do these numbers actually mean, right? So you're going to go here um, to read tutorial and you can see this is also, this is the Camelot notation wheel. It's also known as the circle of fifths. And what it, what it represents is the numbers that you see here represent uh, musical keys. So the inner ring that you see here represents the minor keys. And then the outer ring that you see right here represents the major keys. And then there's for each notation, there has been a number and a letter assigned to that. So if you're in A minor, then that's 1A on the Camelot notation. Well, if you're in B major, then that's 1B, okay? So the way you want to use this is uh, when you're mixing, you know, a lot of times you'll hear DJs mixing out and you'll be like, man, that mix sound flawless. You know, how they do it? Well, you know, this is the secret weapon to a lot of, you know, big name DJs, a lot of guys who, you know, you've probably heard productions, you've probably heard their stuff you know, um, at music festivals uh, while they're DJing. This is their secret weapon, ladies and gentlemen. This is what they use, and it's called Mixed and Key. So the way you want to use this is you want to, like I said, you want to get all your songs, and you want to scan them in here, analyze them, uh, drag and drop. And then the way you use the wheel when you're mixing, when you're um, looking at your songs, you say, well, which one am I going to mix with what? Okay, so let's say, for example, um, you're on... Uh, 12A in uh, D, D flat minor you can move any direction in the wheel so you can move clockwise or you can also move counterclockwise and the way you're going to do this is you're going to move up a fifth so let's say you're going from 12A to go up a fifth you go to 1A and what that's going to do is that's going to build the energy in your mix up by bringing up the uh, bass line by a fifth also you can go backwards and you can go down a fifth and this is gonna pretty much keep your mix constant so you can also subtract three um, in any direction so let's say you're going from 12a you'd go to 9a here and then you can also add two so if you're going from 12a you'd add two by going to 2a and if you want to get really like you want to just make a drastic mood change you know in the keys and your mix and the energy of the room another trick that you can do is go from a um, a minor a flat minor to a uh, another make sure I get this right so for example an example of this would be going from an E flat okay E flat minor here okay to a E minor which is here 
got a little confused there. So you'd go from an E flat minor to an E minor, and that's just going to drastically, you know, change the mood of your mix. So that's another cool thing that you can do. And you can also go from major to minor. So you can go from, you know, in this in this little fifth, you'll see that you have 9A minor and then you have 9B major. So that those are the different ways that you can you can use the uh, Camelot wheel or the circle of fifths. I'm going to go ahead and close this and then I'm going to bring up um, H2.0. And basically what I did was I, I loaded up some tracks here. I have them queued up. And uh, as you can see here, and the, the keys are listed. They're already in my ID3 tags. All I did was uh, adjust my area and I drag and drop the folder to create a new crate and it's 2.0 so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and launch the tracks so that you can hear the mix and you can really understand you know how this sounds and how this differs from like a typical mix So basically that's how it works. Um, you want to make sure, uh, I, I guess I should also make a note here that uh, in Scratch 2.0, um, Itch 2.0, I'm sorry, I'm using the Novation Twitch and I have the key lock and the key sync engaged. Uh, that way um, the songs don't go out of pitch or out of key. So they're both locked into 4A. And uh, that's basically how you're going to do that. So uh, leave your comments and questions below. And again, this is Vernon Mashwell. And thanks. thank you for watching. Peace.